Good morning everybody, I'm going to do a very quick cutting video of this brand new soap. This is another one I made yesterday and it's got a mosaic tiled effect. And the other day when I made spoony wood soap, I didn't tell you that inside the woods is a villa, an old Roman villa. Yes I did, I did tell you that bit. But what I didn't tell you was, inside those woods was an old Roman mosaic on the floor. And which would have been part of the old building. Hmm. And it's still there, but it's not it's not the Roman one anymore. I think in the Victorian times they they took it up and the local castle, Sudley Castle, took it. I don't think anybody now knows where it went, but they replaced it with a Victorian copy. So I thought we'll we'll do a soap based on that. So I'll just show you before I cut it. It looks really cool. So it's just a plain white base and also inside this base are some white soap balls with a black ring around them. So this is what it looks like and I'm just going to cut it before I go to work because this one had a water discount which means if I leave it till tonight it will be a nightmare to try and cut it like Kim said should it get really hard so I don't want it to be too difficult. It's going to be difficult enough anyway, I think, because it's been sitting in the mould overnight. It was too soft to cut last night before I went to bed, so I can do it now. Now then, it's going to be tricky because some of these I'm going to have to break into. So I think we'll do it about there. I'm just going to have to do my best. Should be okay. But yeah, I wanted to do a mosaic uh, effect just to mimic that floor. But um, what we should have done, like Matt said last night, you should have just actually like made a proper mosaic pattern. But I thought, well, that's a bit ambitious with something I've not done before. So maybe we'll give that a go next time. But this soap is just a really really nice scent it's got some really really special oils in it it's not going to be the same price as the others because i've used some expensive absolutes in this there's some rose absolute some honeysuckle uh, some jasmine and there's labdanum oil there's probably about eight different scents eight different um, essential oils and absolutes mixed together which is quite costly so with the absolutes you don't need you know hardly um, anything but the fact that i put it into a soap is yeah it's a pretty special soap and it smells amazing it's got a bit of fennel oil in it and i can smell that sort of aniseedy scent but it's mixing with the uh, rose absolute and the honeysuckle i can smell it's got sort of a just it's really beautiful it kind of smells like a Mediterranean holiday to me but it's really based on those woods again so see what we can think of for a name it is really tough to cut blimey there you go there's the inside so that looks really cool Got some different coloured balls in there, but mainly I think they're the ones from the old Wonderlust soap. If I can pop it into it, you can see a bit better. I've got to go to work today, so I'm doing this before I go. So I don't have a real struggle when I get back. I've got herbaceous to cut tonight, so I'll film that one so you can have a look after we made it yesterday. It's nice to see the results after you've watched somebody make something, I think. Okay, balls inside again. Very nice, fresh looking soap this is, I think. And there's my end cut there. It's got some lagoon balls and some lemonade lounge balls. And I think I might use my cutter, my soap cutter today. I've got about 20 minutes before I have to leave for work, so should be just enough time to get this done. <coughs> Not quite. 
quite awake yet. I couldn't really wait to cut into this, so I was excited. And I'd forgotten actually until I'd just cut that, but those balls are inside. Uh. That end off. Mm. God, it smells really good. It's got bergamot and citrus oils, some florals, and a lang ylang. No, I didn't put a lang ylang because it was too cloying. I didn't put that in. Oh. I can really smell the jasmine, if anything, and I put the just a really small amount in there. I can really smell it. It's really mixing with that fennel nicely. It's got the sort of like sweet balsamic kind of scent. It's very nice. Okay, that ain't gonna go in there. What would be nice is to get a tile on every single one, like straight cut, but I don't think that's gonna happen here. See what we can do. Okay, some of these ends need to be trimmed. So there's our first one. So yeah, I've got a ball in the middle and the tiles on the top. That's kind of cool. So these, instead of about £4.50, they'll probably be nearing five so they're going to be about 4.95 a bar which isn't cheap but then they're not cheap oils it's pretty you know pretty luxurious soap if you're into that kind of thing and for christmas a lot of my customers will be i know that much that's nice so we'll trim these up later when i get home but it's worked really well i pushed them into the mix as much as i could on the top as i was going along so They didn't sort of rock about on the top once um, I cut it. Sorry for the shadows, but we need the light on this morning because it's, well, it's not dark now, but the mornings are a bit darker. And this one on the side. Nice muted colours. That's that uh, jaw full of soaps I showed the other day. I use some of those for my tiles. Cut them all up into little squares. So we're getting really nice muted earthy tones in the top. Which is what a mosaic's like really. They didn't really use many colours because they didn't have them available. So they're more like terracottas, blacks and white. Which came out kind of like a creamy colour. So... Kind of realistic. <laughs> I really like it. I really, really like it. And I think I might have to get some more of the precious oils because I've I was using some up yesterday. I used up the honeysuckle, the rose, and the jasmine. So um, I might get a hold of a few more, but they're expensive to buy, like really expensive to buy. You can buy dilutes, which are, you know, they're still really strong, but they're not as strong as the pure absolutes, of course. And with the absolutes, you don't need to use very much at all. It's such a strength of, you know, um, aroma. And also, they're used mainly for perfumery. So to put them in soap is a bit over the top, but I had them left over, and I thought, they'll be really nice. That's a nice one. And then the end is actually a whole bar of soap, so that's good. So I'll, what, I think I might have got 14, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13 soaps out of a, a bar, I think. 
sorry, the view is not the best there, but I'm trying to get it finished before I go to work. This one we can cut the right way up. There will be a few for some samples, which I'm trying to get onto the website, but you know, I can't list them until they're ready. Who is it? Somebody asked me. I don't know if it was um, Joy from Bunny Soaks. Might have asked if. I don't know if it was her or not. It was somebody who just asked me last night on YouTube, but I need to go through all the comments and approve them because I've not done that yet. I've just woken up to a load of comments and a few orders overnight. So I'll get back to you sometime, maybe even today, in my lunch. So. The sample soaps will be coming, but you just have to wait until a lot of them are cured enough, ready to put in. I've got a few, but I need to package them all as well, which everything takes so much time. So this weekend, I might do a load of soap packaging. Max at work this weekend, so I have time at home to do things like that. I'll show you a bit more. So we'll see. <clears throat> If I can get a few up, but they'll go on it. They're going to be in a section on their own, just under samples, and you can use a drop down list to choose which one you want. Well, I do need to get them up actually because um, Christmas is coming and they're really good for stocking fillers, like an inexpensive thing to buy for people if you want to buy several. then they're not expensive, they're like £1.50 each. But they all come wrapped really, really nicely, so they're really nice just to put in a box, maybe, something like that. A box tied with string. <laughs> okay, we've done it again. I think we might have another 13 bars. There should be a 30, well, maybe not. Let's see if I can trim. That's fine. Trim that one off the end. There we go. Trim the base. There you go. That's <coughs> the end piece. That's got a lemonade lounger in there. <laughs> okay, and I've just finished off the... Uh, Last bit, that's not taken too long to cut, that's taken me seven minutes so far. That's your size your samples come, so we like that. They're pretty much like a one to one and a half ounce sample. But you get about maybe two baths out of them, two showers, or if you're like me, you'll get one. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I need to mention, Kim made Mother's a Hatter Soap in May, and I bought a bar, and I haven't used it until now. I've left it in the boxes with my rest of my stashes, the things that I didn't want to use, um, because I like just sniffing them. When I go into the spare room, I like to just sit and sniff some <laughs> soaps every now and again, because I'm a bit weird. And um, Kim's Mother's a Hatter from May was one of the soaps... I left, but the other day I thought, now I'm going to use this, and oh my god, it was amazing, the scent, it's like, it's almost come back triple fold, it's really weird, but yeah, really amazing soap, so um, I cut off a piece like that, as Jen always says to do, well not says to do, but that's what Jen does, and I thought, no, I normally go in with the whole bar, but I didn't, I thought, no, I'll cut a piece off so I can savour this, and come back to it. Um, so I used a whole piece like that. I mean, her skim soaps last a good long while anyway, but I used a whole one of those. <laughs> and I just kept lathering, lather, repeat, lather, repeat. It was gorgeous. I really, really enjoyed using it. So I've still got three of those pieces left. So there's another, for me, three baths. <laughs> but it's really good. So some soaps really do it for you and others you know I, I like lots of different soaps but oh my god that was just amazing the other one that did it for me like that was Sonia's um, monkey fart that was a really nice soap to use so yeah 
I've got a few left and I've got some soaps from Danny to show you and a few other bits and pieces I've got to use I'm sure I've got, oh yeah, I've got some more of Kim's on the way maybe one soap, I can't remember and have I got anything else? Oh yeah, House of Glory, I've got a little bit coming from her, one of her whip soaps, I wanted to try hers I think I've tried them before but I think I've only ever had one pot so I wanted to have a go with that and see what they're like and I got a scent called Ghost Puffs which is from her Halloween and Autumn range so I thought we'll have us a bit of that. Sounds really nice and I've read people go on about Ghost Puffs the scent so I thought oh yeah we'll try a bit of that. that. I think it's a bit like marshmallow that kind of thing. So there you go there's our Soap, which will either be called maybe Spoonly Mosaic, it might be called Tesseray, which is what those little things that are made mosaic like mosaics are made out of. They call those pieces of tiles Tesseray. Um, I know that because Matt's a potter and he's a geek <laughs> and a nerd. Um, I don't know what else to call it really. I'm going to have a think. I've written a few things down. I've written down things to do with the number eight because there's eight oils in it, but I don't know yet. We shall see. Those other bits can be made into soap balls. So, how many have we got? Two, four. Thirty bars. That's a good soap play. Ooh, I'm tired today. There you go, I'll show you. There you go. Let's turn the light off again. There you go. There she blows. I think that is really nice. And I'm really, really pleased that I tried this on the top. And I'm glad that I put the balls in for some more contrast through the centre. So yeah, I'm really happy with this open. The scent is to die for. So if you think you might want some of this, they will be 4 95 a bar. That's £4.95 a bar. Um, and I will take reserves on this one. Um, but only maybe up to 10 because some of these are going to have to go into the shop. So you, you'll usually take about five soaps. So I want to get them on the website at least. They look nice down that side there. But yeah, if you want some, then there'll be 10 up for reserve. Okay, bye.